show you how you can create a category with the search word this will be useful for our library as there will be many books among the library so it is easier if we have a category to search for i will be showing i will show you with the help of this department but you can also add a column called category in place of this department so that you can save all these categories and you can search with the help of these categories so here you can see that uh, in a library there can be um, more than thousand of books and the result can be a couple of hundred so this will be actually easier if we have a particular category where we will be searching for a book with the name and here you can see uh, we will actually write the code inside our student side book page and you can also add it in your admin side book page so here inside the student folder we are going to our books.php page and then inside this we have our search bar code and after this search bar code there is our form we will actually write our code inside this form so after this form let's add a label here that will be actually for um, some message to show um, that actually let the user know that what uh, they are actually choosing from this category uh, from these options so here the label and we will add here the name you can add category for your category column i'm gonna use department so here i'm gonna use for equal department and inside this i will write choose a department And then after this we are going to actually write a tag called select tag so that we can actually make some options where we are going to select so inside this select we can actually directly create our options but uh, if there are actually multiple uh, groups then we can actually create option group also so i'm going to show you both the way here uh, the name is equal, equal department but if your column name is category then you uh, can name it category and here the option group i'm gonna create two group to show uh, the difference and then let's create the second one opt then group and here we're gonna we can actually uh, name them and we can add some values so the label will be let's uh, name this educational let's say there are two kind of books in our uh, library one will be educational book another will be the entertainment purpose book so we are going to label them like this and this label will be actually shown uh, inside that um, inside the option actually above the options that is under this category so entertainment and after this let's create our options so we are gonna add some uh, educational category that uh, you can add some subjects or you can add some uh, different things like articles or journals or books like this uh, this kind of options so i'm gonna use my department name as i am actually going to show you um, the options on the basis of my database and table so here the option would be some department name like tripoli cac or ndc as i have this three kind of books in my library you can add as many department as you want so there will be more options and then here you can add some different options for actually different type of um, category like uh, action book or horror or scientific scientific books or science fictions and then you can add some other categories too that you like
okay this is a bit bigger so let's uh, just write horror here in place of this category you can um, actually give a big name that is not a problem you just need to adjust the size of your form in that case okay there you go choose a department and here you can see this uh, small option uh, selection form and here you can select any of these you know, department and here you can see the group of these options educational and entertainment and under this uh, under this group you can actually choose any of this and when you click on them this name will be actually inside this box and then you can use it inside your query if you can actually get uh, get that name as output so let's see if we can actually do this in our code so here and also let me just uh, tell you another thing here you can see that uh, these names are actually exactly like the name and that is saved inside our database if you actually see in my database inside the book table there the department name is exactly like this Tripoli CSE and EC and something else so if you actually want to keep the same name as this one that we are actually uh, showing then it is not a problem but let's say if your um, name uh, if your department name inside your column is actually ECE1 that is not ECE but you want to show your user that this is ECE when they click ECE you want ECE1 value ECE1 as the value that you will pass through your query then you need to write like this value equal ECE1 but as you can see that the name of our the value of our database and the name we want to show both are ECE so we don't need to actually write the value inside that tag we can be used directly like this so i'm not adding any value but if you want you can add it and then after this let's see our buttons are here and we are going to actually use this button that is inside our search bar sorry this is not the one and this is for request so this is the search bar code and here this button is actually the one so the name is actually submit so this is the button for our submit button so when we will press the submit button then this query runs so here we will add another condition for that category but before that let's see if we can actually echo that variable dollar underscore post and then name of that uh, selection form or those options here you can see inside the selection select we added our uh, name of that tag that is department so we are going to write department in between this quotation mark so after this let's see if uh, we click on something if we get that name of that department let's choose Tripoli and let's search a book and let's give the name electronics and then if we search for it you are going to see the name Tripoli above that table here you can see this is the name we are actually um, showing it here as output now we are we are going to delete it we don't need to actually show this here we just need to uh, use this variable inside our query so let's copy this and then delete it okay now we can just uh, add and here after this so where name like this and department will be equal to dollar underscore post department but this department is actually your column name whatever you have saved here inside it inside this table in your column name that you need to give here so the column name will be equal then our variable so variable will be inside single quotation mark so here let's post paste it here and this one we don't need this single quotation inside that parenthesis so here that is okay now if we actually save this page again and refresh it now if we click on ece search for data you can see that we are actually getting this um, result properly and if we give some wrong answer let's say if we are going to search for this then you can see sorry no book found so everything is working properly so we can actually search for any of the book by this category just the advantages will be actually that we can find 
the book uh, more faster than previously as you can see that in our database there are actually very less books so it is not uh, very difficult to find it but if there are if you search for a book uh, name and that name might match uh, for with the more than 100 or more than 1000 books then it will be difficult for you to actually find that exact uh, particular book that you are searching for so in this way with the help of this category searching uh, then you can find the book more faster